you, you see, um, Jacqueline, I have a very, very easy to remember acronym for reinvention, and that is gifts. Gifts. You, my friend, gives you give fabulous gifts because I have seen some of your gifts on your Instagram posts, right? <laughs> I've seen them. So you will remember this. First is G, the letter G. Mm -hmm. It's really to go inward. To go inward, reflect on what what are my strengths. Okay. Where do my passions lie? And what can I contribute to the world? What can I give? So, so th those are things that if they're clear to you, including the very important question, what makes me different from the others? If you have clarity in those things and you can answer them, then that is a great place to start with. So G is for going within, making sure that there's a target audience that I would love to serve, knowing my strengths and my weaknesses. So that's for G. I is going into the future. W what is the perfect future for me and where do I want to go? What is the destination? So if, if you're looking at um, me now, this one is in the future. What business do I want? How do I see this business? How will I make money from this? How will I prosper? So, and then there's F. That, that F is formulate the strategy or formulate the plan if you want it simple. Formulate the plan and um, how am I going to go from this point to that point, A to B? How will I get the business or uh, the, the, the job or the reinvention that I want? Because some people, they, they, um, they want to stay where they are, but a better version. Uh, let's say you are a financial consultant right now. You might want to be a financial consultant, but of a higher caliber somebody who makes more money. That's an example. Of course, there are different types of pivots. There are pivots that want the, the, for people that want to um, go to another industry or totally reinvent themselves. Then there's letter T. So T is for taking action because a lot of people I notice, they, they have the strategy, they have the dreams, the plans, etc. They know where they want to go. The problem is they keep on taking courses and then courses and then courses, but they're not executing. So um, I had the privilege, Jacqueline, to, to speak at the, um, uh, the U.S. Southeast Regional Conference recently. This was just uh, last week. And I shared with them one technique that I learned from one of my mentors his name's Evan Fagan, and it's basically to throw your hat over the fence. So if you want to do something, you want to do something, how are you going to go across to the other side of a fence? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, but if you want to make sure that you're going to go across, then you throw your hat over the fence. So that, that's basically either making a commitment or making a public announcement that I'm going to do this. I'm going to be offering online courses and opening an online school within 2020 for personal and professional development. So that, that's a very um, straightforward um, public announcement. So, so it's like you have no choice. You got to do it, girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, okay, there's le the last one is S, so gifts. So the S is basically sharing your brand because at the end of the day, we were talking about this before we went on air and it's it's really you have to rebrand. So that's talking about the personal brand and, and um, increasing uh, visibility, credibility so that you can assure profitability in the end. So branding is a long-term process. It doesn't happen overnight.